Hello again, this is Caleb Crisp, and I'm back with another video. According to my calendar here, it has been 84 years since my last video. I believe it was reviewing this monitor here, which is still my current daily driver. But I just moved into a new apartment, and I kind of wanted to make a video, finally had the motivation to make one, and I thought maybe a cool room tour uh, and slash setup tour would be a good start to get back in the swing of things. Uh, I ended up wanting to do one of these in my previous place when I finally got my new desk and everything set up, but uh, I, I just got too swamped, too busy, and honestly it wasn't up to par, um, my setup anyway, and I wanted to wait until I got everything just perfect, and then by the time I did get everything just perfect, it was time for me to move into my new place, so um, anyway, let's just go ahead and get right into the setup. I hope you guys enjoy, and of course anything that I can find on Amazon will be linked in the description as well in case you guys are interested. Upon entry to my room, you are greeted with posters to my three favorite things. The Lord of the Rings, the Constitution of the United States, and the Princess Bride. Uh, you also see a sword over there on the left, we'll get to that in a bit. And of course, there is also a typewriter, a mini fridge, and we'll get to all this in just a moment. On the right, as soon as you enter, you've got two doors. That's the door we just came in. The middle door is the bathroom, and the far left door is the closet, which we will not be going into because it's literally just filled with boxes from where I moved right now. And first up we have my typewriter. It is a 1918 Underwood 5, made during World War I, one of my favorite time periods. A buddy of mine's name actually, his last name actually is Underwood, and he's after this typewriter, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Got a really good deal on it. It was only uh, $50 and in perfect condition. Uh, a nice older guy was uh, clearing out uh, some things that he had little use for anymore and was kind enough to give me a good deal on this. What I love about this typewriter, or one of the things I love, is just its overall aesthetic and also the fact that you can, uh, upon pressing the keys, you can actually see individual levers for each key that is curved at just the right angle to fit into this notch and apply ink to paper. And I think it's just one of the coolest things ever. You'll uh, you can see me here clicking it and it is it obviously dings as well once you reach the end of your reach the end reach the end of your paper if you will and beneath all that there is my uh, there is my camera stuff normally it's far more organized but obviously I'm using the camera right now so it's kind of just out there with the uh, with the tripod a nice little desk that came with my room I actually didn't have to buy that most of the other stuff is from IKEA that one was just just came with my room and here we have the Constitution of the United States Princess Bride, and the greatest movie ever made. And here's everything together, uh, bed and center chest drawers on the left, we'll get to that in just a second, and of course the typewriter over on the right. Uh, this chest of drawers, uh, pretty much just standard, um, it's got my sword and my iPad on the top of it. Uh, any Lord of the Rings fans obviously recognize this sword, I got it when I was like 8 years old, I love this thing. It's an Underreal Flame of the West, forged from the Shards of Narsil. Uh, Aragorn's sword for the layman. <laughs> uh, there's just a surround sound speaker, the back right, I believe. And once again, here is everything all together. Over here, I've got my mini fridge, and nine times out of ten, it is filled to the brim with roast beef and Coca-Cola, the liquid fuel of the gods. Um, the, the, the sweet nectar is what flows through my veins and allows me to be at my best. Here we have my surround sound system hub. Beneath it is my Xbox One, which is currently just a glorified Blu-ray slash Netflix player. Over here we've got uh, my DVD and movies that I've taken out of their boxes. Uh, most of them are still in their boxes. I just got, you know, Lord of the Rings, Les Mis, Gladiator, Princess Bride, you know, Braveheart. Those my, just my favorites are over here. And, uh, obviously there's my Tartu 600. And I don't know if you can still see it or not, but there's actually uh, an old bottle of Viking blood uh, mead that's obviously empty now, but it's a cool little decor. Nice heavy bottle, it's really cool. Here we have my Roman Colosseum uh, model that I built. It's made entirely out of cardboard, it's so many pieces. It took me uh, quite a while to, made it, to make it. Uh, I built the entire thing while 
listening to a Sam Harris podcast, so that was fun. And here we just have my surround sound system. And here is my favorite painting. Um, I love this painting. It was given to me, my, given to me by my uh, great-grandmother. Uh, I love the brush strokes in the water. Um, look really cool and realistic. And um, obviously the ship itself. Uh, I just love old wooden ships. I'm a big fan of um, naval history, especially this era. Um, I also really like, I don't know if you can see it, but the the left-hand side of it's notably darker than the right-hand side of it. Kind of reminds me of Lord of the Rings when the... Uh, when Thaden and his army ride up to Minas Tirith and like their side of the, the the battlefield, if you will, is light and the the Mordor side is dark. And obviously it's great, comfortable to, uh, or it's very comfortable to lay on the bed and look at all of this. It's pretty nice. Quite proud of it. And on to the computer setup. Here we have my Razer Black Widow X Chroma. It's dirty, but it is the metal uh, Razer keyboard, and I like it a lot. Followed by my uh, Razer Mamba, which is my personal favorite mouse. A lot of people like the Logitech MX Master. I would take this one any day of the week. And here's my headset. It's a SteelSeries headset. I'll link it in the description. Uh, in my opinion, it's the... Uh, the best headset around for gaming and what have you. It's got simulated 7.1 surround system and cool lights. And here is my Blue Yeti Black Edition, um, easily with my microphone of choice. And here we have the monster itself. My uh, computer case is, uh, I know it's Cooler Master, but it's got a crazy name and I'll, I'll just link that in the description. It's got these cool lights. Uh, it was designed for, um, you know, water cooling and whatnot. Um, I haven't fully taken advantage of that. I have a uh, closed loop um, uh, cooler. I think that's what it's called when it's not, uh, when you don't disassemble it. Mine was, my, my water cooler was pre-built. I think it's like the um, Corsair H100i or something like that. I could be getting my terminology wrong a little bit. I apologize if so, but uh, it certainly gets the job done. Uh, inside, I have my i7 uh, 8700K, uh, Strix motherboard with my Triton Z RAM, a 500 gigabyte, uh, what's it called, M.2 SSD with a GTX 970, which is a little underpowered, but when I built this machine uh, in January, uh, that was at like the peak of the graphics card cost crisis, if you will. So I decided to wait until GPU's prices went down before upgrading, and I'm actually about to do that now. Uh, the power supply is hidden beneath the power supply shroud, and uh, the computer's going to have some upgrades coming, some custom water cooling uh, loops that I plan to do, and that'll be a lot of fun in the future. There'll probably be some videos on that. I think I did a pretty decent job of organizing everything, though. And I love just the, the glass pane, how it opens and closes. really cool. And here's everything all together. Uh, I've got some cable management to do, obviously. But, you know, for just getting everything set up after moving, I think it's looking pretty darn good. Um, oh yeah, the cable coming out the back. Uh, I had some issues with cables not being long enough, so currently the computer has to be faced that way. Uh, in addition to the reason that uh, because of the way the parts are installed, uh, if I want, unless I want to have to switch everything around, the glass pane has to be facing this direction. So I'll experiment with some other ideas, but that's where it's got to be for right now. So overall, I'm quite pleased with everything. And I actually just realized that I forgot to review my chair. When I was going over my desk setup, I kind of slid it out of the way and forgot to uh, record it. It is the most comfortable chair I've ever sat on for a computer, at, at the very least. Um, it's the Modern Comfort of Verissimo. And the story of how I got it's actually kind of funny. My brother got it for Christmas. Uh, he like picked it out because he likes comfortable chairs and was like, I want this chair. He's like 10, or no, 12, um, but he just likes comfortable chairs. So he picked out that. Then I sat it and I was like, oh, this is a nice chair. I'm going to buy this. So then I went and bought one for like $225. And I was like, yes, this is great. And then my friend Kyle was like, I think I need a chair. And I was like, you should get the Modern Comfort Verissimo. And then he went out and bought one. So, like, because my brother can, like, pick out comfortable chairs, now two other people have bought this chair. It's kind of weird. But I'm kind of rambling at this point, so I guess it's time to wrap up the video. But first, I would like to show you how awesome this looks at night. 
uh, with the lights out. Obviously, it looks really cool. The picture may be kind of fuzzy just because of the camera I'm using, but it looks uh, pretty darn good if you ask me. And I uh, just want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, I am a YouTuber, so obviously I'm required by law to beg for likes and subscriptions. So, you know, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, hopefully that'll be sooner rather than later. Uh, you guys have a nice day.